Alrighty, we're in the mill here and I'm doing kind of a unique batch that I wanted to share with you all. Um, this, this customer wanted milkweed blended in with her wool. And here's what the milkweed fiber looks like. And here's where, let's see here, this is where she got it from Monarch Flyway out of Nebraska. You can purchase milkweed fiber that they, I think they plant them for the Monarchs, which is pretty cool. Um, but it comes like this. It's fairly clean, but it has all of these little seeds that you can see that need to be hand-picked out of there before I blend it in with the wool. A um, little bit of a nuisance, but um, what, what, what the, you can kind of see it. It's very pearlescent, so it adds a little pearlescence to the, the finished yarn once it's done. Um, I did a batch last week for her turned out very nicely. Um, I'm going to show you why I'm not doing milkweed anymore after this batch. Though. And we'll walk over here and this is it. Here it is carding. And this is what it looks like. Hard to tell I'm sure on this picture. Um, but I'm going to hold this up there. So you can see all the milkweed flavors are flying off of the carter. And they're already, they're starting to build up. They will build up all over my mill. <laughs> My eyes are starting to are starting to uh, puff a little bit in water, and I'm getting very stuffy, and and it just it just goes everywhere. It's just crazy. Uh, yeah, but this is this is this is how I blend it, and it just goes in there, and it blends actually quite beautifully. What stays in the wool blends beautifully. Um, so. You can sure do this on a blending board or with a hand with hand cards or if you have your own um, drum card, you can sure do this. Um, but please don't ask me to do it. <laughs> but anyway, so I just wanted to share that. Have a great day. Here we are. We are now spinning the milkweed blend. And I decided to do a two ply because there wasn't that much of it. So every rotation is two yards so it just keeps track and turns out automatically when it hits 150 yards and so then we wait till it goes and then once once it's done I will show you how we here at the mill tie off our skein we don't use the figure eight tie that a lot of folks use we use um, I guess I call it the number four tie because it looks like a number four, how, how I always explain it to, to folks. And, and see, maybe folks could use that themselves. It might be easier than, than the figure eight tie. And if we're going to dye, let's gain if we're doing our own yarn and we're going to dye, and we just loosely tie each, each rotation. There we go. We always add two extra yards on the first skein, and then we just snip it off here. And it's spun beautifully, and it is a two-ply. And then we just flip it over as such. And now this is where I make the number four. Make the number four and come through, and that's one. Make the number four, come through. And that is 
how I stain. I'll do one more. And... And... Well, I guess I should do all of them because I want to take one off and show you what a stain looks like. So I'll put them in this last one here too. On the end of it. Got a little table. There it is. Oh. And you can see the little ends off nice here. And we relax. And here, here is the finished yarn. We'll put it in a skein. And voila! This is the finished skein. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of pearlescence that the milkweed adds to it. And it, it's just very pretty. And now it needs a bath now. And so um, once it's washed, it's gonna bloom. And so it'll bloom to be a heavy decay, a light worsted when it's, when it's washed. So that is the finished stain of the milkweed blend. Thanks much, bye.